I found him to be very friendly, highly intellectual in his thinking, and always listening very attentively to each and every leader that I spoke. Erastus Mwenche is former deputy chairperson of the African Union Commission and a member of the Advisory Council of the Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation. He has met Xi in two international conferences, Forum on China-Africa Cooperation Summit held in Johannesburg in 2015 and the second Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation held in Beijing in 2019. He was very impressed by Xi. In his speech, he was always emphasizing the need for the countries to work together for a common good and, and always to remember that together we can do much more than when we are individually separate. And of course it came at a time when multilateralism was under severe attack and also weakened by some key players of international uh, economic order. And uh, China was saying we must by all means, and this was the message of uh, uh, President Xi Jinping, we uphold the principles and defend multilateralism. In September 2021, Xi put forward the Global Development Initiative while he delivered an important speech at the general debate of the 76th session of the UN General Assembly, which he attended via video. According to Mwenja, at a time when global leadership is lacking, and the international community needs to jointly address common challenges such as the COVID-19 pandemic and economic recovery. His initiative came just in time. This was at a time, particularly in the area of health, where we all acted nationally. There was lack of global leadership to coordinate our efforts. At the UN, he was addressing the, the, the global body and so China came out also in providing leadership to the rest of the world to say we must work together. When we work together, all humanity move together. And I think this is to me the spirit that I saw in that city. Wencher admires Xi's concepts of state governance and believes that China's successful experience in poverty alleviation and ecological civilization is worth being emulated by African countries. President Xi Jinping he has grown through the ranks. He started at the community level. He then went into uh, provincial level before coming to national level to become a leader. President Xi Jinping understand the challenges that are at the community level, also understand international uh, uh, issues. If you look at the China's modernization about just 40 years ago, if you look at the number of people that have been lifted out of poverty, is incredible. I know that China has been in the forefront in terms of reducing the carbon print. And, and of course, China has already announced that for the future they will not going to build any coal-based uh, you know, plants outside China and the rest. Uh, so some of those, I must say, uh, strike out to be very good in terms of how we want to address the climate change that is affecting humanity. As Africa, we are very much uh, uh, satisfied with the approach that China has taken. If you look at the areas that China is focusing on as cooperation between China and Africa, they are very much much to what Africa itself wants to do. And that's to me the essence of cooperation.